out to make a run today. Got a couple inches of fresh snow again last night. Seems to be the pattern the last few days. Fire up the machine. Check my box. Make sure everything's good to go. Gotta grab my ice pick today, hook up the sleigh, and off we go. So another journey out on the trap line today. Check some sets, put some more wolf snares out. It's kind of a, a nice day today. Not too cold, but cold enough the snow won't stick to you. So on we go. So I'm out today checking beaver traps. Got two beaver in the sleigh so far. Big house here, I got two channel sets on it. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully uh, my volume's not all screwed up. But uh, anyways, it's February the 8th today. This is a really bad pond for beaver because there's nothing for them to eat and they're actually cutting down the uh, pine trees. They've narrowed on a whole bunch of them, so it's a place that you want to take the beaver right out and let the area come back a little bit with uh, deciduous trees. Conifers are no good for beaver. Anyways, we'll see how we make out here. I'll take, probably take a picture at the end of the run here and show you what I caught today, but uh, I'm hoping for at least one more beaver out of this place. I took a blanket out of here already. It's a big house, but uh, you never know exactly what's in them. So This pond I've trapped off and on for the last 15 years here. I'm uh, three beaver for the day. This is my last house. I got two sets here and I'm pulling out. So we'll see. I guess I'll do a little picture of my sleeves getting pretty loaded up here between beavers and traps and stands. I like to use these uh, metal stands. They save so much work when you're setting. So I got two sets here. So I'll chop them out and I'll try to remember to uh, to give you a little picture here when I get done. But. Uh, just pulling out here. I've already pulled uh, a muskrat and two beaver out of this house and uh, I'm gonna just finish up here now so we'll see what we got. I'll try to remember to take a picture. So two beaver. That's four beaver out of this house and I'm pulling out. That's uh, good enough by my stammers. I got one blanket and three uh, two-year-olds so there's probably still another two-year-old and a blanket in here but that's enough for now. That'll knock them back a little bit and it's another pond that's got sh really shitty feet around it. After a while all the ponds get rings, ring with evergreen and there's no good food for the beaver so that's why it's good to, to drop them down there and give the bush a chance to come back. But uh, so that's five beaver for today. I'm pretty happy with that. So there's today's catch. Five beaver and two marten. And I use metal stands all the time with the Savage Old traps. In my opinion, my humble opinion, the best beaver trap out there. What I like about it, it has the size. But uh, whatever you catch a beaver in is a good trap, I guess. But uh, so I got uh, four two-year-olds and one uh, one big guy, one extra large. So another day in the jungle. So we're out here today in the wind. It's a little bit colder, and houses like this are really hard to find because. When you get a fresh snowfall, unless you know they're here, you'd never know it. But this is a really good house. You can see because we set the channels there. Pretty deep, but lots of sticks coming out. And uh, we're just fixing to put a snare pole in. But uh, we set actually two different sets of channels here. But they're very defined if you know what you're looking for. I trapped this house probably 10 or 12 years ago. And uh, I don't think we've taken any beaver off this lake, lake since. Not a very good spot for feed. If you look around the lake, it's all spruce, tamarack, some white pine, but very few trees. Like the, the beavers like to eat the trees with the leaves on them. They don't like to eat uh, spruce trees, the stuff with conifers with needles. So just interesting to see, but 
trying to set it up so that we can pull a few beaver out of here. This is uh, towards the end of January. Conditions are good, except like I said, unless you knew this house was here, you'd have a very hard time to find this house. But we know, so we're here. So my recoil is frozen on my saw. So I'm doing a little bit of a push fix here. I'm putting it under the exhaust of the canoe for a few minutes to uh, thaw out, and then I'll be able to uh, get her going. So I'm gonna get a better bag to put over my saw, but for today I gotta get it thawed out because the recoil won't work. So it takes about 10 minutes and it should be good to go. Today's run. I'm out today, it's February the 5th, and I uh, I just chopped up a beaver on my trail. And the reason I did that is because the wolves come through here and I set up a wolf bait with that deer that we, uh, the deer we salvaged. So on purpose, I just cut it all up right here. And I left it kind of like as an attractant for the ravens and that to start squawking. And that'll help draw the wolves in quick to my bait. So, like I said, I think it's February the 5th today, Friday, and uh, we're just getting ready to get a wolf bait going here. I set the wolf snares the other day, so I just wanted to come back and chop up a beaver on each side of my trail, just past my bait. It gives them something to, uh, to get them in here a little faster. I leave a little bit of stuff exposed for the ravens. And it, they start squawking and then the wolves come by and they know the ravens are squawking. There's usually something going on. So it helps make everything work a little faster. So that's my master plan. That uh, deer that we salvaged, that the wolves got on the lake there by my house, I brought it up here and put it up. And this is kind of like a, a hemlock area. And the deer will stay under the hemlock in the heavy winter like this. If you look up through the bush, you can see the snow's not that deep. And... Uh, it's a kind of a deer yard here, so trying to get pick off a few wolves here in the deer yard. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, onward and upward. Talk to you later. So I just cut up a second beaver doing the same thing, and you got to cut bait up a lot of times to for Martin boxes and, and uh, other sets, so Fisher sets and that. So I do it right on the trail, and it keeps the wolves working my area a little bit. And I, uh, I throw a couple of visible pieces out there so that the ravens will find it. Ravens will squawk and make a lot of noise and it attracts everybody else. So when the ravens are squawking, usually there's a kill or something and then the wolves will come and check it out in their territory, especially when they pass through. So hopefully it'll work in my favor and I'll get them running the trail here and they'll run right down into my bait and I'll pick a couple up. So we'll see how it goes. Very windy today. But uh, we're supposed to get like a uh, big dumping of snow, 10, 10 to 15 uh, centimeters of snow this afternoon. So it's still uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning here. So I ran out early today to get check all my sets and relure, and uh, just about done. Just wanted to do these uh, couple of beaver on my trail here where I set my wolf dump up and give it a, about a week to soak. So we'll see how it goes. Life's good. Carry on.